I need you to get going so I can take some drone footage. <laughs> well, hello everybody and welcome to the channel. It's a very confusing morning today. Um, I've got a jacket on. It's freezing out there by our standards in, you know, what should be coming into summer. Um, it is just weird. Very, very windy. Um, we had a quick sprinkle of rain. Actually, Phil was harvesting, he's still harvesting chickpeas down at the main lease block. And he's only got about 30 hectares to go. Um, but yeah, so he's, I think the rain's all cleared up now, but he's harvesting about 10 kilometres that way. And um, yeah, a big band of um, rain went through and got about probably a mil or a bit over a mil. So it, um, yeah, he had to, yeah, he couldn't get going down there, but hopefully with this wind it'll dry out reasonably quickly. But, um, so we've brought all the machines back from the contract um, barley harvesting we were doing. So we did a couple of hundred hectares there, which is 500 acres. We are harvesting the wheat here at the main farm. So this was the wheat that um, a week or so ago we had to pull out because it was just too, too wet still. And then that's when we headed off and did the canola. So. Um, we're back into that. Um, it's still, we haven't really had any rain since then, so the quality will still be really good. Um, where well, there's been no reason for the quality to um, drop, so yeah, it should be a good good result. Hopefully still be around that four tonne to the hectare, which is um, about 1.6 tonne to the acre. I do believe it is about 60, um, roughly 60 bushels to the acre. So I'm hoping the wind dies down just a little bit and the sun will come out and things will dry out and things will go a bit more smoothly, hopefully. Well, I'm uh, taking over from Brad on header number two on the wheat here and just in time because the drum spilled over and there's oil all through the back there, so I'll leave that one for Brad. But I think it's slowly coming to us now, it's good. It's a bit of heat, it's a bit warmed up a bit. Don't need your jacket anymore, eh? Jacket in end of October? Yeah. Yeah, that was fresh. That was cold this morning. Very uh, American weather. This. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, at least the wind's got a bit more heat to it now, so that's good. Nearly used the heater in the header for the first time. <laughs> yeah, we don't usually touch them. I know. Um, yes, so it's going all right? Yep, no, going real good. So about 7 k's. Yep. 8 k's, some bit. Cool. It's good fun. That's good. Don't Enjoy, have to guys. don't have to worry about the back end blocking up. Uh, I didn't take you with me this morning. <laughs> yeah, I saw the GoPro in your U. Uh, <laughs> I reckon I need to uh, try and organise to get some tractor and machine manufacturers to put a little elevator or a little lift so we don't have to try and climb up ladders while holding a GoPro because that's that's somewhat tricky anyway let's get going here I think I'm just nearly out of the contour banks too so that's nice Looking pretty nice. What do we got here? We've averaged, well it's saying we've averaged four and a half ton for this field for the last 10 hectares. So that's that's pretty impressive, but you can't always rely 100 percent on the um, these monitors, but it only matters what's going into the into the truck. So um, but it does look pretty handy. It's, uh, yeah, nice. This is nice harvesting. Double check we're not throwing anything out. So just while we're here, this little um, graphic here, it shows you how much you're losing out of the rotors. So if you're not thrashing the grain hard enough or 
for whatever reason the grain is coming out the end of the rotor and not falling down before it gets to the end of the rotor it comes up here it lets you know um, so you can adjust your settings to fix that um, that's your sieve loss so anything that's going out the back of the header over the top of the sieves um, that tells you that and that there's your repeats so that is shows you what is going through the top sieve but not the bottom sieve um, and it gets recycled through the system again so yeah if there's a bit that hasn't been fully um, yeah thrashed properly it'll go through and um, go over the sieves again and um, yeah that you always want to usually it's good to have a little bit there um, depending on the conditions but um, yeah it's all all going well looks like we're getting a pretty pretty good sample it is a because it was a bit green um, and there's still the odd little green section it's it's um, not going to be a perfect sample but it's um yeah that's pretty good it's looking nice so yes it's turning into a, a nice harvesting day I think Phil should be nearly getting going on the chickpeas with this wind and Sun so he should be right and um, also he's only got 30 hectares I think so he'll be coming over here to finish off um, this here so we've only got probably 140 hectares left of wheat here maybe 150 um, and then it'll be all done all the wheat all the canola all the barley will be done oh, all the wheat except the organic wheat I should say um, but that's a little way away yet so yeah it's all looking good and I think we're going to be going to the south lease block there's 160 odd hectares there so what's that in acres uh, times by 2.5 um what's that three four four hundred and something of linseed we got in there um and it's all ready to go so i think we're going to be heading there um in the next couple of days i'd say and um it'll be interesting to see how that goes well i've just finished this section here now this paddock here is the last paddock so that's about 125 hectares and uh phil has decided to come join the party um yeah it was just there was still 30 hectares to do but yeah it just wasn't drying down after that rain so um, I'll get out of the wind hang on so it wasn't um, drying down after the rain I don't need these I'm not talking to anyone um, it wasn't drying down after the rain and it was gonna probably be another couple of hours so I figured instead of just hanging around waiting come back here we'll get this knocked out um, yeah, we should get this done today and then we can fiddle around with the chickpeas tomorrow when it's the conditions are going to be good good to go So that's the plan. I think Brad's actually going to come down and take over from me in the not too distant future and um, Yeah, we'll just play it by ear Well, the camera's not going to do it justice, but I've got a fair old angle here and um, I don't think the self-leveling sieve has got quite this much movement in it. So I'm just on the side of the dam bank. Um, yeah, just fiddling around on, just yeah, getting all the fiddly bits done, I guess. So we can just hook in when we get into the good stuff. Probably, from what I've seen so far, this paddock here, it was a little bit behind all the others. So um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see how it yields, whether it's gonna, it, I suspect it might be a little bit less, but um, yeah, it, I think it could surprise us too, which they're the kind of surprises that everyone likes. So it looks like we've got the yellow Echo back in action. So we've got a new fan hub on it. It's all good to go. Um, yeah, we've just got the two triples are getting all hooked up, ready to go again. And in the meantime, we just may have to start cutting to the silo. We're not sure, but... Um, it shouldn't be too long we should have a triple here at least so we can um yeah unload start unloading uh yeah the mother bin right we'll be underway now just gonna do up and down this little bank here because it's gonna be a bit hard to get up and over so there's a little bit more fiddly stuff to do here but yeah, it's great. Once you get the fiddly stuff done, it's a good feeling. You can just hook in. Well, I've been relieved of my duty. I've handed the header back in one piece. That's the main thing. Um, 
Yeah, so, what do I do? The neighbours are going over here too. Well guys, I'm back here at the main shed and it's good here, I can keep an eye on what's going on. There's the mother bin down there and can, uh, I can just see the headers but you guys probably won't be able to. Um, but yeah, it is looks to be coming off, all going well, plenty of dust, I'll just stay, I'll stay back here out of that wind. Um, so, the actually we did have a slight drama. Um, because Phil's been harvesting over at the chickpeas um, and because it was, wasn't was yielding very well, going really slow because of the rocks, um, the header wasn't working very hard at all. And what's happened is, or what does happen is, the chickpea um, dust sort of creates this weird sticky film of gunk over everything. So, um, like, I don't know how to describe it, very difficult to describe. And usually that is, um, yeah, it can just start smouldering. So if it gets anywhere near anything hot, like the exhaust, whatever, and it builds up a layer on that, it gets quite, um, yeah, prone to fires and smouldering. And yeah, it's just a bit of a bit of a nightmare. But Phil hasn't had any issues with fires because the engine's been running so cold because it's not working very hard. Um, so the exhaust isn't hot, you know, all of that sort of thing. But yeah, when he came down here, um, just doing one lap around the headland because the header was actually starting to work a bit harder. It um, yeah got hot enough and Phil just smelt something smouldering, so he pulled up and um, had a bit of a look and yeah just around the exhaust manifold. So they doused that with the water tank on the chaser bin, and um, yeah no no harm done there. But um, yeah it's just one of those things where usually the wheat's not really a problem with the dust, but because it had a bit of a build up of grime from the chickpeas, it did become a problem. So. Uh, but all's, all's good, um, that was probably the only hiccup and they're into it, so it um, looks to be going well. I've managed to do a couple of chores, um, but yeah, I've come back down here because it's almost dinner time and tonight is pizza, so that is good. Dad's just coming home, I think he'll only be 10 minutes away, so we're, um, 
looking like we're getting a lot of grain off now so actually it's funny how it always works whenever I seem to put the drone up in the air we're in the worst section of the crop but um, yeah where it is now it's going really well so I think it's um, yeah sort of going that four and a half five ton to the hectare which is incredible so we'll just sit tight and wait for dinner looks like we've got the truck just coming now which is good so that'll work out well because that mother bin's getting pretty full well just for anyone wondering pizzas were enjoyed we polished off what how many pizza uh, eight pizzas and brad's brad's dancing up there <laughs> yeah it, it has been a bit of a cool change come through and yeah the wind in the mornings and evenings is quite chilly so but uh looks like it'll be a good sunset i need you to get going so i can take some drone footage <laughs> It's always nice watching the sunset over the hill. I'm going to abandon the team. I'm going to go home early. Just a little bit of behind the scenes information. Last night I got home quite late and I needed to edit and I started editing the wrong video. So I've got to edit the right video tonight. And um, yeah, so, <laughs> oh dear. So thanks for watching everyone. Uh, just hit, remember to hit the like button if you do enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already and we will catch you in the next one.